New at six, we are three days into hurricane season and while the tropics remain quiet here, one professor at Florida A&M University is about to travel overseas to learn more about how these storms affect structures. As ABC 27's Dave Bogan found out, his mission is to bring that knowledge back here to the Big Bend. On a quiet spring day on Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard, inside a peaceful and calm Walter Smith facility, at Florida A&M University. So this is my office right here. Is where you'll find Olivier Chamel, an associate professor with the School of Architecture and Engineering Technology. He's already thinking about the fall semester. Coordinating with the faculty, all the courses, also working with students that are going to be admitted in the fall. When he's not in his office. Each student would put their individual design right here. Olivier is roaming the building, showing off student projects and design. Being in architecture is been such a great career because of you know it's always different you're always designing something different working with all kinds of people a passion he's about to pack with him and take 7,000 miles from Tallahassee to Japan we are going to um, exchange information and try to understand how Florida deals with hurricanes and compare it to how they deal with typhoons in their region. Olivier will work with professors and officials at a university in Kyushu. This is all in part of the Fulbright program, a United States cultural exchange program that allows students with at least an undergraduate degree or a professor to study abroad and focus on a subject. I'm really hoping to learn how they build and design architecture there to resist typhoons, including aerodynamics, the structure, and the foundation of buildings in Japan, bringing some of those ideas back to the U.S. So that then we can maybe learn about how we could improve things here in Florida. Ideas that could help prevent a catastrophic disaster the next time a hurricane blows through. In Tallahassee, Dave Ogan, ABC 27. And he'll be studying in Japan for about six weeks.